Welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. Few things today. I've done some more work in here, mostly collage and some sort of patterns, doing a lot of shapes. I'll show you that in a bit. But at the weekend, I went to a festival of printmaking and one of my good friends, um, Lenny, was showing at it, which was you know, the main reason I went, but also it was very interesting. Um, update on college. I got into the course I wanted and I start on Monday, which is like five days away. So anyway, very exciting, but I'll show you this first. So this is the little programme and it's got all the list. It's It's got all the artists in it. And what I'll do is I'll just hold it open like this and just pause for a couple of seconds on each page. And give you the opportunity to just see the type of work that was there. There was a lot of different um, types of printmakers. Um, she's quite famous, Laura Boswell. She does a big blog. Um, Colin Blanchard was there. He does um, craft presses. He was doing a demonstration with the Big Shop Plus, Big Shop Pro. Just some really honestly, so obviously, um, you know, art rightly is quite expensive. So um, now I'm going to be a student again. I am a little bit less well off. So I um, bought lots of cards. I like to buy cards and postcards. I kind of collect them of, you know, different artists. So there you go, you can have a look at that. Now, I did have, the first one I'm going to show you is Fenella Ross Elmer. So, I should open these. See, I, I'm not going to be sending this as a card. I will keep it and use it. You know, I'll, I'll frame that. But this is an old building. And then what, what it is, is she was explaining to me. This. The other stuff is found objects in the building. So this lace here is part, you know, was found inside that building. So I really, I, I like the kind of structure with the delicate, but at the same time, they are related and it's nice. But I've took them out of the plastic. So this is my good friend Lenny's. So the... The cards are prints of, um, you know, bigger work that they've got. So, it's, I really like it. So, this is my good friend Lenny. He does um, lino cut printmaking. He's very precise. And um, I met him at a workshop and he lives near me. So, he's become a good friend. Um, and I really like his work. Now, this is Carol Noonan. So she does a lot of wildlife and I think um, there's like Collagraph in it as well. And this is one of her cards. Quite like the material it's on. It's got, a, it's matte, but it's got a slight sheen to it. I bought this one for my mum. Um, because it's a collie dog and it looks like it's in a very happy place. This is actually hand printed, this one, so it's not a, a reprint. Caroline Convey. Now, this one, Jenny Martin, she does a lot of um, still lifes. So, and there was some sketchbooks out, so I had to look through some of her sketchbooks and it was really nice to see the kind of work in progress before it reaches the final stages and the same with Emma Jones who's We Blue Press and then this is Judith Wild and she does lino cuts and it's a, a, you know a lot of her work is based in nature as well and then there was a paper supplier there Purcell so this is very good quality paper but what they'd done for the festival was they'd made up 
offcuts instead of sending it for recycling. So I got this for £5 and it's 410 GSM. It's lovely. It's got 25 sheets in it. You know, so I'm going to keep that. This is good printmaking paper, but I'm going to keep it for maybe a wee bit further down the line when I'm in college. And this one was £10 and it's 600 GSM. You know, and it's it, it's proper boards. So that was the Printmakers Festival and it was wonderful. I enjoyed it so much. And it's going to be on again next year. It was at Stirling University. Okay, so I've done a bit more work in here. So I'll show you this first. I've added some collages in here. I'm going to start at the back, which is this one. And what I've done is I've just took a lot of gel prints and I've cut them up just to make some big, bold contrasting shapes. That's meant to be a vase of sort of flowers. Same with this one. And this one. Kind of kept some of the straight lines in because I'm liking, you know, you can tell that is meant to be a vase with like, you know, flowers, plants, but it keeps that abstract element with just having the paper edges in. And I just like that. Mm, wasn't so keen in the shapes that I came up with here, but I really like this one. And then these two are just you there. So they're the opposites, you know, that's one sheet of paper. And it's been cut up. And then this one. So I think that the ones that I'm less oh this way fiddly with actually are more successful and I like kind of putting their spines together you know the flat edge of the papers together I also made hmm, this is still a bit of work in progress so I started cutting out lots of jelly prints it's not really a, a, a front or back um, and then I thought I'll stick them in the brown paper because I do have a tendency to either be quite dark or quite light. This is the right way. Not that there really is a way, but there's some that I've made a wee bit, you know, the vases of flowers. So again, that's just three, just a wiggly line. Cut up one sheet. Um... There's more. So I'm going to do more than this. Um, what I liked about this one is this tiny bit of blue that came through from this other side. I liked it as if that was the sort of stopper on the vase. And then I added that in just to give it that, you know, as if it's leaves and plants look. Um, I painted. But what I found was when I was painting, even without putting the Posca pen around it. I was making the edges to... They lost some of their looseness, their... You know, the the, the wonky edge. They became a, just a bit more cornered, I suppose. It's just, this was one big sh sheet of brown paper. And I just, you know, it had rippable edges. So I just made it into a wee book. Now, this one, I've done a lot of patterns on. So, I wrote my name in Posca pen. Just some more Posca pen. Just basically playing about with patterns and shapes. There's something about this one I quite like. It kind of makes me think of a pineapple, but also 
like a purse or like people I haven't quite decided on that one yet here I was just practicing doing little marks and seeing what I could make um just some more of that some more collages I did take the collage quite seriously. That is a hand drill. Um, I just drew just some more patterns. Now there is something I do want to show you. I've done a lot of work. This is oil pastels, so I've not sealed them, so that they've kind of rubbed off on each other, but I'll do like that. It gives it a nice edge. So again, some of those little marks again. Now, what I want to show you is this. So I, I've basically been doing, trying to do full line drawings, you know, where they you're using the same line all the way through so that we're getting, you know, we've got, I, I chose people shapes because it's like a, two legs, two arms and a, a head. So we've got some that are in the white and then some that are in the purple and I quite like that. So we've got a few of them. So there's one there. And then these two as well. I really like them. There's something about that that I thought this could be worked on. And then we have this. Now, I've done a few more bits to the front, but most of the work's at the back. But I'll show you. I've just been seeing how far I can layer it, basically. So you'll remember some of these from the last video I've just added more layers basically um these ones have probably changed a fair bit yeah and then we'll go to the back I like that this was a paste paper you know where you use the wallpaper paste with paint in it and it kind of has raised so you can add texture to it but it dries flat and this reminds me of a glitchy television screen so i like that that was raffia that i pleated just a few different strips of it and then put it on the gel plate I'm not quite sure how i made that but i do like the effect overall of it it's just some so this again is the raffia so that's just like sort of you know when you wind it around your hands and sticking it on to create a loop oh, i like this because it looks a bit like a cave more paste papers it's just like a, a wee edward munch scream just worth a lot less and that was alcohol markers on the gel plate with stencils. Now this was something that I made. I think there is some collage on it, but it was done with acrylic paint. And then I've used some of the hand sanitizer that's got the alcohol in it and rubbed some of the acrylic paint back just to give it a distressed look. There's a softness that comes in with that. Just botanicals on there. This was, can't remember how I did that. That was in the gel plate anyway. Just drawn. Right, I went a bit crazy with the big thick black marker. So I put a lot of big shapes down, which, you know, I'm looking to add to the top of. Though I do like this here. I like how this goes with it. We've got the kind of curly, with the curly and the straight with the straight. But we've brought a bit of it over here. Just some more collagen. I'm not showing you all these black shapes because there's a lot. That one. That's like a logo or something, really, isn't it? 
So I do like when you add the oil pastel on top with it. It takes on a, you know, it takes on a, a look as if it's on a canvas. Obviously, that's just, you know, it would need a lot more. Now, this is how the continuous lines started and the collage papers by doing, just manipulating the lines with the pen. See, sometimes the join. I lose it a little bit sometimes. And then just some more collage. Gel prints. So a lot of these, again, this is like sort of setting up for, you know, a page to work on. I don't want to keep just showing you gel prints. I like these two. That was one. I, you know, put them on separately. And I actually think they work better separately than they do together. I think these are good starting points. It's just a sort of cloud of colour and just a sort of thick line. This is made from when I've used the gel plate as a palette. And so that's, you know, the paint that's left in the palette at the end. Um, and it's dried and I've put another layer over the top to lift it. I like paint palette um, pulls. They, they give you interest in stuff. That was water on black paint on the gel plate. But you have to give that a long time to dry. Play-Doh texture you know where you do lots of marks into the play-doh and then stick it on the paint on the gel plate um just some patterns disaster disaster <laughs> then I've, what i've done is i've painted some pages oh strong i've made my dog look like a chicken but they were fighting really like this so shyla is a black labrador and I managed to catch her. She wasn't quite sleeping, but she was being quite still, so she only moved slightly. So I got a good picture of her face with the light hitting it to create the shapes. I think botanicals on the gel plate. I do have a cup. I've just. What I've done is I've put the black paint down, like sort of dry brushed, and then stuck the pages together. So we've got some ripping, and some smudging, but soft pastel on top of it. So these are good starting points. Um, a couple more pages to show you. That's one. That is a total mess, but there's something about it I really like. It kind of makes me excited to start on that one. Just some oil pastel shapes. So they're ready for me to just kind of, you know, scruffy to into and add some interesting bits or add some more oil pastel over the top and then let the sort of navy blue shine through. So yeah, so I know it's been a while since I put a video up. I've been very busy. Oh, we're still fighting to get my parents' houses, my parents' house pulled down um, after the fire. So I've been doing a lot of work for that, obviously for starting college as well. So, but I do, I do plan to try and at least weekly have um, a video out, preferably more often, but at least weekly. When things happen, it kind of takes over a bit. But as you can see, I'm always working away. Um, I'll always make time for the art. And, I, you know, first thing when I get up in the morning, I get up very early. And I do art, you know, and it sets me up for the day. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. I hope to see you soon. Bye.